Hey, I'm Ross Frostick. It's April 23rd, 2013, and this is the Mobile Watch List. First up this week, we have Cut the Rope Time Travel, which sees the adorable monster Omnom eating candy throughout the history of the world. Omnom, the little monster creature who is obsessed with candy, apparently finds a time machine. It's all pretty grounded and understandable. The candy is getting sucked into the time machine and Omnom can only watch in terror as his candy, oh my God, he's getting sucked in. Oh my God, he's going through time. It's like Doctor Who, but with candy. So when it starts out, it's pretty straightforward. You're still trying to feed them the candy with cutting ropes, pretty standard stuff. As the game progresses, new mechanics get introduced. Uh, whoa, that was an absolute disaster. No, I did the same thing twice. Why would I think it'd be different the second time? Oops. Yeah, so it gets pretty hard. Uh, so you have these abilities, these like telekinesis abilities that let you control the candy, which is, let's face it, cheating. No, telekinesis, no. Shit. There we go, there we go. There we go, okay. So you have a limited number of those. They're tied to in-app purchasing and all that junk. So that's Cut the Rope Time Travel. It's out now on iOS and Android and it's coming to Windows phones in a little bit. So stay tuned. Next up, we have Bookworm Heroes from PopCap Games, which brings you all the magic of fighting people with the power of reading. Bookworm Heroes has you fighting people on the internet, trying to spell the longest words you can. As you spell longer words, in this case, this gentleman spelled a three letter word. Good job, dude. Longer words obviously deal more damage and there are bonus abilities which augment the amount of damage you're doing or maybe give you more health. Oh, this guy is gonna get rocked. Watch this, bonus key and boosh. Worm kicking butt. Yeah, your three letter word was nothing. Shiny. Even though it is a multiplayer game, the only way you can play with actual friends is to hook into Facebook and then send them invites through Facebook. It's probably posted 60 billion times on my wall now. Thanks, Tom. So that's Bookworm Heroes. It's out now on iOS and Android. Uh, if you like word games and again, punching people in the face, boop. That's your game. Last up this week, we have Fish Out of Water from Half Brick. Those are the folks that made Jetpack Joyride and Fruit Ninja, two of my favorite games. Wee! Fish Out of Water has you commanding a squad or a, I guess it's like an ensemble of aquatic creatures and hurling them through the air and trying to get as far as you can while also skipping them across the water as fast as you can. You've got three fish that you're picking each round and it's important to pick which one you need to complete certain objectives. For example, the whale will actually skip across the water a lot easier than some of the other fish. So it's important to, you know, know the pluses and minuses of each fish to eventually get the best score, which is rated by a bunch of crabs at the end of your round. I don't know why crabs are sort of the judges of the sea, but I guess they are. See that angry crab on the end hates me for some reason. I think he's probably the East German crab. So that's Fish Out of Water out now on iOS and Android. And if you like doing this to actual fish, you are a cruel, cruel human being. That's it for this week. And remember, cutting the rope is just as much fun as serving breakfast on toast. <laughs>